hello guys welcome to my youtube channel it's on tutorial in this video we are discuss about assignment one solution of introduction to internet of thing here you can see that the first question is which of the following is are the characteristic of iot option number first is efficient scalable and associated architecture option number second is unambiguous naming and addressing third is abundance of sleeping node mobile and non-ip device and all of the above so the explanation of question number first is here characteristic is efficient scalable and associated architecture unambiguous naming and addressing abundance of sleeping node mobile and non-ip device so the correct answer is question number first is option number d all of the above question number second a dash allow us to use our smartphone to lock and unlock our door remotely at our home or yeah, our business. First, a smart meter. Second, ATM. Third, digit lock. Fourth, web. So the explanation of question number second is here. Digit lock is the smartphone can be used to lock and unlock door remotely. And business owner can change key code. So the correct answer is question number second is option number C. Question number third, which function yeah, functions of an IoT gateway is are to forward first forward packet between LA and WN and on the IP layer, second connect IoT LAN to WN, both A and B, none of the above. So the explanation of question number third is here. IoT gateway is forward packet between LA and WN on the IP layer and a router connecting the i at lan to wn to the internet so the correct answer is question number 30 is option number c question number four multi-homing is the concept where a node can be connected to multiple network four first is reduce reliability second improved relatability third none of the none of these fourth both and b so the explanation of question number four is here A node a yeah, network connected to multiple network for improved reliability. So the correct answer is question number four is option number B. Improved. Question number six. Which for which of the following vector sensor are required to measure or sense them? First color pressure temperature, second orientation image, third none of these, fourth both a and b so the explanation of question number six is here vector sensor is physically quantity such as sound image velocity acceleration orientation etc are all vector quantity so the correct answer is question number six is option number b question number seven the sensitivity of a sensor under real condition may differ from the value specified. This is the called maximum error, minimum error, median error, and sensitivity error. So the explanation of question number seven is here. The sensitivity sensitivity of a sensor under real condition may differ from the value specified. This is called a sensitive sensitivity error. So the correct answer is question number seven is option number D. Question number 8. A random devi deviation of the signal that varies in time is called first noise, second sound, third bias, fourth none of the above. So the explanation of question number 8 is here. Noise is a random deviation of the signal that varies in time. So the correct answer is question number 8 is option number A. Question number 9. A relay switch is the example of a sensor b an equator c a transducer d none of the none of these so the correct so the explanation of question number nine is here sensor versus transducer an equator which can be switched to switch voltage yeah current equator so the correct answer is question number nine is option number b question number ten what is the pneumatic equator? 
first option is, is it it is a type of actuator driven by compressed area vacuum second it is a type of actuator driven by flu c it is a type of actuator driven by solid and option d none of these so the explanation of question number 10 is here pneumatic actuator convert energy formed by vacuum or compressed air at a high pressure into either linear or rotary motion so the correct answer is question number 10 is option number a compressed air or vacuum question number 11 which type of actuator tend to be compact lightweight economical and with high power density option number first is thermal or magnetic actuator option number b hydraulic actuator option number c both a and b option number d none of the above so the explanation of question number 11 is here thermal or magnetic actuator they can be actuated by applying thermal or magnetic energy and they tend to be compact lightweight economical and with high power density so the correct answer is question number 11 is option number a thermal or magnetic equator question number 12 polymer based equator designed to handle fragile object like fruit harvesting in agriculture yeah manipulating internal organ in biomedicine are called so the explanation of question number 12 is here soft equator are designed to handle fragile object like fruit harvesting in agriculture yeah, manipulating the internal organ in biomedicine so the correct answer is question number 12 is option number b soft actuator question number 13 full form of smp is soft memory polymer shape memory polymer third software memory polymer fourth none of these so the explanation of question number 13 is here SMP is shape memory polymer. So the correct answer is question number 13 is option number B. Question number 14. Duty cycling in the sensor is managed by which component of IoT? First application, second real time kernel, third radio, fourth power management unit. So the explanation of question number 14 is here. Application real time kernel power management radio. radio so the correct answer is question number 14 is option number c question number 15 which of the following are challenges of iot first security second complexity management third modeling and analysis fourth all of these so the explanation of question number 15 is here here is the iot challenges first security second scalability third energy efficiency fourth bandwidth management fifth modeling and analysis interfacing data storage data analytics and complexity management so the correct answer is question number 15 is option number d all of the above so thank you guys we will meet in the next assignment